Hey guys, Antrenum here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be doing the first peaceful map update to happen in quite a long time. I'm actually glad that I have something to point out in this video, you know, to show you guys, as well as some of the random miscellaneous updates that I have put into the map, as well as this texture pack, which I'm going to include with the map download. So if you guys want to download this map along with the texture pack that has, well, it's not really a texture pack, but, um, yeah, wait, where's the sun? Where's the sun? Okay, there it is. Uh, but yeah, so it'll have the rounded sun and the rounded mood in the texture pack as well. So anyway, so yeah, if you want to download that, be sure to check the link in the description or on my my uh, YouTube page uh, it is always going to be there as well the latest map update is going to be always the link that is on like the bottom left uh, be sure to check that out so yeah anyways moving on here uh, as I'm sure you guys have probably noticed if you guys follow my Twitter which is also linked in the description I have been working on a mob farm for this map now I've been trying to debate as to whether or not I wanted to make it anything really fancy or complex but I decided to go with a rather simple design because what I was gonna do is I was going to make a building that looked a lot like this, except in the back or on one of the sides, I was going to add a piston elevator. Either a piston elevator or like, you know, like a piston elevator that used fence posts and then, you know, in order to transport the animals up and down. But then I realized going with more of like an old school look was going to look really quite well for this map. So I wanted to just give that a try. So what I ended up going with is I just went with like a, uh, you know, four different levels that are each three high that are all blocked off entirely by fences. And then on the side here, you have this really neat looking like staircase which you know even just because I am like an aesthetic neat freak I needed to put like the little support beams uh, you know with the use of fences right there so I think that looks really cool so on each level there's just this one little door right here that you can open and close and uh, you can get inside there and then behind each of the doors you're going to find a chest that has uh, the wheat you know in order to breed the sheep or chickens or pigs which are actually down there I put the pigs on the bottom level so I might as well show you that here first which is technically second now but yeah okay I, I don't want to release any of them so let's go up to the next level here and ironically okay so the chickens are on this level there used to be a double door here so I was gonna say ironically this uh, the chickens being the smallest smallest animal were in a room that had double doors but the double doors are no longer here because I get rid of them because there's really no need for them it's kind of amazing though it's just like the amount like I could seriously just use this as like an egg farm if I really wanted to if I wanted to make cake like you know I could just breed a whole ton of chickens and just always go in here and get eggs so yeah moving on to the very top layer the reason why I put cows up here is because I want to hear them the least out of any other one yeah, shut up cow, shut up cow, shut up cow, shut up cow, <laughs> but yeah. So that's pretty much it as far as the mob farm goes, and I really like the design that I ended up going with. I'm glad that uh, there wasn't like an additional mob that I needed to put up here, because yeah, I just like, I didn't want the staircase to wrap all the way around to the front. I think it would have looked really weird, but giving the way it wrapped around just, you know, from side to side, it made it look, it you know, it kept like the equilibrium of the entire thing uh, intact. You know, when you look at it from this angle, it looks really good. And uh, the the best picture that I really like posting of the peaceful map is up from this really old school house right here. Like, I, I don't even know, like, if a lot of you have checked this one out. Uh, I, I know I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here, but yeah, giant mushroom farm thing down here. And the angle that I really like taking of my peaceful map is right about from right here. So yeah, or even from up here if I really wanted to. I think it looks really nice, you know, it, it, and it matches well with the tower that's right there. Uh, originally when I made this, I just used wooden planks for where all the dark planks are right now, or not dark planks, but dark wood is right now. I had originally just used, you know, wooden planks, but I didn't really like the consistency. It seemed like that theme was just overpowered and it just didn't look right, but I really like the way that it looks now. So yeah, um, another thing that I ended up changing up with this map aside from the little lamp post right here which I put uh, the trap doors on which I see happen a lot with people and I don't know I kind of liked it I thought I'd throw them on there um, if I decide I don't like them I'll just remove them but I fixed the doorbell so that's finally working again uh, the reason why that ended up breaking is that uh, if you if we dig underground here I think I need to dig right here. Uh, I have, gl I had, or still have, uh, yeah, okay, see there's glowstone right there, and, uh, the redstone was running across the glowstone at the time, so that was kind of a problem. Alright, let's just go ahead and let's patch all this up, because I don't need that exposed, because, uh, the wiring and all that is very tight-knit enough as it is, like, it's, like, running right underneath the ground of this water here, and I don't need to go screwing any of that up. 
But yeah, um, let's see if there's anything else, anything else that I can show off of this map. Um, I spawned a couple animals all, all around the area because I don't like this whole map feeling like completely lonely. Like that's another reason why I added the mob farm just so that from a legitimate standpoint, if you know a user who downloaded this map wanted to repopulate this area in case the mobs went missing, um, they could do that. Oh yeah, and that reminds me, I uh, covered up all of the holes that were in the map with glass because I found that mobs were falling through these things a lot and getting trapped and as such you know like the map was losing its complete supply of animals so that kind of sucked but yeah so I decided to patch all those up I didn't patch them up with grass or dirt because I do like being able to see the sort of openness and the cracks that are in the earth so like if I ever decided one day that I wanted to completely undo this I would be able to because I would just be able to get rid of the glass and everything would be good so that's why I was very comfortable making that decision uh, you know putting glass in this area what are you what are you even doing pig 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 what are you doing all right, yeah, you just you just run around like a madman, like a complete and total madman. But anyways, what else is that that I could really show you guys? Um, I think there's really only one other feature that I've added to the map in like all these months, and that is all. Well, okay, so two things. One, I added this, which is just really for like aesthetic appeal, so I can you know see the actual chest. There's no need whatsoever for this to be here, but I got really bored and I just felt like making it. And I also made the uh, made the sugarcane farm a little bit more efficient by changing up how the way the fueling room works. So now the dispenser is not at all connected with uh, with yeah with the pressure plate there. So instead, what happens is it'll spit out the well, hmm, I, okay, I'm not going to activate it right now, but yeah, it'll spit out the cobblestone, and the way I have it set up, it will never, ever land on that block right there, because it'll always shoot it out more than one block uh, at this distance, so it'll fire it out, land right there, and the signal will catch underneath, which will activate this line, which will activate that torch, and then that torch, so it still serves to, you know, do the whole repeating process, it's just like a tiny little bit slower, um, like it'll these will fire out at about that rate rather than you know the really fast rate they were firing before But I think for the amount of time it actually ends up staying active. It ends up being quite worth it But yeah, um, I don't think there's oh, yeah uh, There's really only one more thing I could show you guys I bet I'm gonna be doing this until like for like the next five minutes Oh, there's one more thing I can show you guys, but I ended up changing the uh, the skin that is on yeah That's on the the statue here over to the mushroom looking thing because if you actually look at my skin it does have more of like a tannish look the way it was made so I decided to go with that because uh, at least from a distance it looks very consistent it looks like one solid shade and I don't have to worry about with random texture packs it's showing up to look all different because I know with some texture packs the sandstone will be a much different tone or a much different look than the regular sand and I didn't want to have that sort of weird chin thing going on with sandstone so yeah, um, let's just take a look downstairs for those of you who haven't seen. And I'm sure that I actually have quite a few subscribers at this point who have never even seen a video from my peaceful map. So uh, I would highly recommend checking this map out if you guys haven't already, guys. Um, yeah, the Mad Science Laboratory. Um, I changed the position of the enchantment table to be right here and I added a little switch so you could actually get into the room if you wanted to. And then you could get out of the room just like that. Uh, although, I don't think having, like, anything on the floor makes a bit of difference as far as an enchanting room goes. And I tested the theory, and they just didn't make a bit of difference at all. Uh, at least as far as I've seen, like, I, I've gotten up to, like, the high 40s for enchants for this room. So, you know, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm not terribly worried, because with the whole random number thing, like, you, you could put in a level 50 enchant, you could get a crappy enchant out of it. There's no solid guarantee, so I'm not too worried about getting the last number or two. So, yeah. And, uh, the last thing I'm going to note, and I'm going to end off the video right after this, is that the end has not been used in this iteration of the map that you guys are going to download. Um, yes, you are going to download it. But I haven't done anything in the end, so if you want to kill the Ender Dragon, by all means, go ahead. Because I have not done it in this map. I don't ever plan on doing it, because I've already made a video of me doing it. I have no need to do it again. If I do, it's going to be on a copy, so you guys will always be able to download a version that still has an alive Ender Dragon. Why are there bookcases here? What? What? What is this? What is this tomfoolery? What is that nonsense? What? Ah. Uh... Oh, oh, I don't like that. I don't think I like that very much. Okay, but I'm going to have to replace those here really quickly. And I'm going to fix all of this up. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to end off the video here, guys. There's the bookshelves. 
There we go. Sweet deal. All right, and then now I need to put stone there along with another torch. And yeah, I think I've let this video drone on for the most part long enough, guys. But you know, I think I think you end up watching the peaceful map videos more or less for the commentary and to see what is new with the peaceful map. So yeah, I think I've pretty much exhausted everything at this point. So yeah, I'm ending off the video for realsies now, guys. So anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I hope you all enjoy the peaceful map. As long, along with the random change that I made right here so you can see the lava blade. Because I think it's cool to be able to see that. But yeah, anyways, my name is Ant Venom, And I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.